What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm of course C and Puma and wherever you may be and however you may be watching. Thanks for making this video part of your day. Here we are, the first week of Raw. In the last video, we were at Payback and we got teamed up with Bray Wyatt after asking Stephanie McMahon for a tag team title shot. We then faced off against The Bar, Cesaro, and Sheamus in the main event of Payback. And now C and Puma and... Uh, or excuse me, CM Puma and Bray Wyatt are your tag team champions. And there's CM Puma as your universal champion as well. So now we're going to try to go in and ask uh, Stephanie for an Intercontinental Championship match. Let's just see what happens. Who's back here? Nobody. So we got challenged by Joe, and then that match didn't happen at all. So let's see what he's got to say now. Okay, nothing. He just says nothing. All right, so we need to go talk to Todd, but here's Renee. Let's do this. Your opponent tonight has threatened to tear off your head in your match. How concerned are you for your well-being? Jeez. There we go. My opponent can talk a mean game, but he's just a big pussycat. Or something similar. Words don't mean much if you can't back him up. I'll beat him like I've beaten every other opponent management's put in front of me. This may be the biggest rivalry you've had in the WWE thus far. How does that make you feel? Um, let's see. Yep. You're giving way too much credit to my so-called opponent. A mile may seem big to some, but it's nothing compared to the equator of the planet. Just as Earth is nothing compared to the sun, and everyone should bask in in my radiance. Hell to the yeah, Puma. Alright, we get a good view of Renee's head. So that was a that was a heel promo uh, or, or interview, and I don't know how that affects us here. Uh-huh. Right here. 937 influence points. We only need 14 of those, so if we're trying to stay on one track, we'll keep being a heel. Oh my gosh, that big dumpy dude. Nobody's ever in this locker room. It's nice to see Bo Dallas outside the other locker room. Whoa. The Rock and Vince. Holy cow. Oh man, you ever thought about changing up your appearance? Ugh, you're the friggin' Rock. Here we go, we'll just get the buff. Whoa. We came in hot events. Uh, nope. I don't want to change brands just yet. Because I want that Inter Intercontinental Championship. I want all the titles, son. So I wonder what happens if we change brands. Do we lose all those titles? Hmm. But to be a Grand Slam champion, we need all of them. Or is it just all of them on a single show makes you Grand Slam? I don't know. Let's see, because we've held the United States title. Steph? Nope. That's weird. Stephanie's not there. I bet you Mick's in here and he's too busy to talk to us. Let's see. What's up, you goofy bastard? Yeah, he's got other stuff to take care of. Why can't I just punch you in the face? Jeez. So let's talk to Todd. He's going to say to check the card. Yep. And over to the card we go. CM, really? CM Puma and Mark Henry versus the club. That makes no sense. The Miz versus Bobby Roode. Bo Dallas. Why can't I set up a promo? Reese's Primo, Big Show and Neville. Cesaro and Epico. Okay, that, wait a minute. Bo Dallas and Primo. Okay, I thought it was Sheamus. Bray Wyatt and Big Cass. Brock Lesnar versus Sami Zayn. Good God. And Roman Reigns versus Dean Ambrose. Okay, that's pretty neat. Before we do that, I want to try something. Since we only saw Bo Dallas and Samoa Joe. Can we fight Samoa Joe? Alright, let's talk to him one more time. Just to see. Keep around the target. Fans are not easy, please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Punch him in the face, Puma. Punch him. 
in the face. Damn. Why is everybody so angry? What'd you say? Oh. Oh. Joe disappeared. All right. Well, that ain't going to work. All right. So apparently we have a random tag team match with Mark Henry against the club. Why we're not with our tag team partner, I'll never know. Let's um, also... Let's get a different manager just because. And we've had Maurice. And now we have Emma. And we've had Peyton Royce. Let's go with... Let's go with Natty. Oh, no, Alicia Fox. I changed my mind at the last second. I like me some Alicia Fox. Mm, that I do. Okay, let's get into our matchup here against the club. Here we go. Here comes CM Puma. Let's see if he's got both titles, the tag team title and the Universal Championship. Doesn't look like it. Oh, Alicia From Fox Pangea, over there. Yum, yum, yum. In at 200. Skip it. And we're going to try to skip everybody else's freaking entrance because, good lord. I don't understand why we're tagged with Mark Henry. But once you get through the main story, a lot of randomness happens. So let's go. Let's beat these fools up. I did notice that we were. Uh, Nope. Legal men are in the ring and set we were in a here. rivalry we're for some go. reason with Carl Anderson. So, I'm sorry, with Luke Gallows. I don't know. So, let's see. Get kicked. Oh, man, right in the face. Suck it, Carl. Stand up, you That's big right. dummy. There's no way he could have you big that dummy. Blow. Get out so of my ring. Carl Anderson. Puma's running across and than the whole. oh man, nice here? move. People need to taking fools out. Uh oh, WWE's reversal from team. Carl Anderson he steps into to this CM Puma now. Jeez. Oh my gosh, that was pretty brutal. Neck breaker. Man, this should be good. All right, come on. Get off me. You know what? I might uh, build up to my finisher. Dang it. And then just get a chair or something. And just destroy these fools. Get this combo. God, I freaking love it. Holy cow, I love it. No. He's simply no. reminding him. Um, that he's I don't here. think so, Carl. I don't think so, Tim. Man, the Big knee to the face. Surprises and a drop kick. Drop Holy kick. Toledo. He's awfully close. So we're going to pick him up. Dang it. Yeah, I'm definitely going to get a chair after these fools. Man, Luke Gallows, what or offense. a sledgehammer or a baseball bat or something to just put a beating on these big dummies. Seeing Puma being a heel and all. Get up. He's looking at Catch him. Uh-huh. Alicia, baby, can you throw me a chair? Lariat. Nice lariat there from CM Puma. And here, here we goes. go. He's got him. Wake up, you goofy punk. Look at Get kicked. Here. Center of the ring. Down and it's a Puma Gree. That's right. He's Not necessarily now, center guys. of the ring, but Luke pretty Gallus close. Is in a real bad spot. Puma now under the ring. The ref standing between him and Luke. And uh. Michael, that gives new meaning to have a Oh, seat. look at Emma's. Emma's uh Oh, shows no mercy. And nope. Poor chair. I wasn't using that chair. Like twisted heap. That is freaking awesome. Price oh, jeez. Emma and distracted the ref. I like that. In there right about now. I like that. And now the ref notices the chair and tosses it out. Hey, man, get off my mask. Get off of my mask. You're, get off of me. Jeez. 
Man, okay. Maybe we can get back out hands. and get that chair again. On the shoulders here. You gotta be joking. It could be a long way down from there. Oh man, we got out of that. Oh, okay. I thought we got out of that pretty quickly, and we did not. Remember, though, there are no time. Tried to reverse out. What are you doing, you goofy turd? There may be no nope. stopping him. Oh my gosh, ref, he's choking me. Well, and he's pulling my hair. Stop this. Come on. And there's his nope. speed paying off. And I get a drop Look kick. Nice. Here. You think maybe we can use the chair again? Wait a minute. And oh no, he catches us this time. And the chair goes out of the ring. I do like that Alicia here. Fox. Is, uh, is dangerously close. Why, why does it say we can for him? If you told get me off me. Into this match that he was going to absorb so much punishment, uh -oh. I would have called you a liar. Yikes. Especially you, Sachs, Oh, we couldn't get again, away. I never believe anything that comes out of your mouth. And look you at that. This match was going Rikishi to be driver, holy cow. I guess that's not the case. It though. keeps telling us we can roll out, but it's not letting us. He is a uh-huh. Huh. Come on, man. Not sure he there we go. The tank, but he's to the call. Shoulder no block. Over the top rope goes Puma, but nope. That is not going to do it. You can't argue Big axe results. handle, that's right. Look out, there he goes. Not yeah, right. You think I'm going to let that happen? He looks for it once again. And a back elbow going across the Look ring and a huge... Close line, very nice. Can't waste any time here. And we've seen the Puma score, Greek quite a few time. times, but we haven't here seen bang from here. the pop-up cutter. Looks off and what we're gonna do tonight. is get the chair just wherever it went, because I don't see it. There it is. Oh, one, my, who cares? All right, Alicia, do your thing, baby. No? What? Has it been too many times? Uh oh. Uh oh. Clearly yeah, you didn't block that one, did here. you? More like trying to send him to a local medical there we go. An impressive tag team victory. And now we're just wearing out Carl Anderson. Because I don't care anymore. That's right. Todd, what do you got to say? I like what you did out there. Let's see more next week. Oh, I can provide that more next week if you need beatings after beatings. I'm your man. So we need to keep checking to see if Steph's around so we can get that IC title shot. But there's our tag team partner and champion, Bray Wyatt. Should Puma have a, a, a Wyatt family attire? Hmm. Hmm. Let me know what that should look like. All right, let's get out of here. All right, week two. There's Samoa Joe again. Hey, Alexa. You salty because we didn't pick you? Yeah, stay woke. I don't think you're using that right. I've said that once before. I just don't think you're using that right. There's Samoa Cho with a goofy grin on his face. Wanna grab a beer sometime? No, I wanna punch you in the face. And it won't let me. So how do I get out of a... Yeah, remove that. All right. Oh. What happened? Okay, it kind of started over. There's Matt Bloom. All right. I have heard... Who's this guy? We'll go talk to him first. I've heard mixed things about Matt Bloom. If you have Invasion on, which we clearly do, then it should be okay to do. I hope you've been training hard, my friend. Is that right? Is that right? Is it going to come up? Oh... Mmm, I can fight this dude. I won't. You're lucky. So if Invasion is on, which it is, then we should be okay. The glitch was happening with people not having Invasion turned on. So let's look at our options here. 
That doesn't show it. I guess it's not going to show it in these options. Not going to show it in these options. All right. We still need 14 popularity points. All right, I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it. Let's see what happens. Matt Bloom, don't break my game, man. Coach. Oh, man, what a pleasant surprise. It is so good to see you. What are you doing on the road? Did you get promoted or something? Nah, no, at least not yet. I'm here to check out a few local prospects ahead of tonight's show. We got an NXT live event scheduled here in a few weeks, and if the locals impress tonight, I'd like to book them for that show. Hey, since I've got your ear, I was wondering if you'd be willing to do me a favor. Depends on the favor. I mean, uh, what you got? What's up? One of our top NXT talents is being promoted to the main roster. He's an amazing talent, but more importantly, he's a really good kid. I hate for him to get lost in the shuffle as he transitions from NXT to the main roster. Could you take the kid under your wing and manage him from ringside for his first handful of matches? How many matches are we talking about as Brock Lesnar stares at us from the corner? Is it this guy here with the camo trunks and the dreadlocks? Absolutely, let's go. I'll help manage him to a few victories. I had a feeling you wouldn't let me down. I really appreciate this. All right. We get two attribute points, which is nice. We get 80 influence. You just accepted a side quest. The side, okay. All right. Here we go. I think we're about to test it. Let's go Todd in the production area. What if we fight this guy and it turns out that this guy is who we're managing? No Stephanie. Let's um, go down this way. But easy, Gary. Back it up. Let's see. Who's down here? Gold Dust? Nobody? Okay. Let's go talk to Todd. Let's see who's in this locker room first. Just Mick, which we're not going to talk to that fool. Todd Wick? What's up, my brother? All right. Don't let us down. So let's see. Let's take a look at the card. What? Rex King is this fool that we just saw. Sam Puma, Rex King, Big Cass, Seth Rollins, Dean Ambrose, and Carl Anderson. What? I thought we were Puma Elite. God dang. Brock Lesnar, Bo Dallas, Goldust, and Enzo. Luke Gallows versus Scott Dawson. What? All right. That makes no sense. A. We got Authors of Pain versus the Colognes, Mark Henry and Bobby Roode. Roman Reigns versus Neville is the main event. We could run in on that and try to beat up Roman Reigns. We could also do a promo where we call out Roman Reigns, but this video is going to be pretty long as a six-man tag match is happening. So let's just get into our match here. Who's coming out first? It's definitely not Puma. Well, I mean, it's the tag team of Puma and Rex King. If Rex first, King is your weight, your created wrestler, let me know down in the comments. You and just happen to be lucky enough King. to team up an with the Universal Champion and one half here, of the My Tag Team Champions, which we haven't had a tag team match with our actual tag team partner. So, yeah. Look at that title. Looks fantastic around the waist of CM Puma. Oh, Puma's fired up to be teaming with this rookie who looks like that's going to be our rookie that we're training up. Let's get big ass down here so we can finish this match. We might just cut to the ending of this match. Just so you don't have to sit through all the nonsense. Oh, that was broken. All right, that's what we're going to do. We'll cut to the last minute, two minutes of the match. And that way you guys can see the ending. And um, the video can be cut short just a hair. Well, let's see. Did Dean Ambrose and Seth Rollins come out together? Nope, here comes Seth Rollins. He's all alone. All right. To the end. Three, four, 
Message delivered. Oh, no, a counter. I don't think this is the right time for Carl Anderson to be showing off. Dangerously close to getting counted out. Definitely cutting it close, Michael. Eight. Nine. Doesn't show any signs of getting up here, guys. No, he's taking one heck of a beating, Michael. This is not how you want to see a matchup like this. Well, that was unintentional. CM Puma gets counted out. Dean Ambrose, Seth Rollins and Carl Anderson get the victory. Not what I wanted to happen, but it is what it is. A meaningless match in my eyes. But I'm not sure if there are many people on the roster that would want to. Todd seems pretty happy. All right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right. So that's going to be it for this episode. It looks like we have ourselves a rookie to take under our wing. Let's see what happens. I mean, I'm guessing it worked because we had a match without any problems. So we'll definitely see if it works come the next video. So if you enjoyed what you saw, please leave a like. Subscribe if you're not. Come on back. We got an NXT guy to take under the, take into the Puma den. Train him up in the ways of CM Puma. I'll see you soon.